Hey, hey, hey. Hello, troopers. How's everybody doing? Today is Monday. Happy Monday. How was the weekend? Uh, you guys saw me. I was kind of shopping on uh, Saturday. Um, I wanted to say congrats to everybody that won $25 on Friday. We had four winners. Oh, yeah, by the way, I wanted to let you guys know that this week we're doing 10 winners. Yep. We want to do 10 winners. Uh, there was a little complaint about somebody was saying that it's not fair uh, because somebody had won twice. But you guys know the rule. Um, we're going to be discussing that. I'm going to ask all the troopers what you guys think because it might be you in the future where you already won, but you're very active on the website. Uh, YouTube is going to choose a comment from a video. If it's the same person who comments many times, multiple times, he has more chances than you who just come and comment one. And some people even become a subscriber and they don't comment. How are you going to be a winner if you don't come, come if you don't comment? Uh, but what we're going to do from now on, especially this week, we have 10 winners. What we're going to do is every video, I'm going to make five videos this week, starting with today. So today's Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm going to make a video every week. So it's not going to be just three videos. We're gonna make five this week. And for each video, we're gonna get uh, a winner. All right? No, 10 winners. No, we're gonna do 10, two winners. So today's videos, today's video, this video right here, we're gonna have two winners. Tomorrow's video, we're gonna have two winners. Wednesday, two winners. Thursday, two winners. And Friday, two winners. So if you guys comment on each video, you have multiple chances to become a winner. And by the way, I'm going to take this chance to uh, give something to somebody who has been very active on this channel and somebody who brought somebody. So I'm going to reveal. So stay tuned. You guys don't usually watch the videos. You're going to have to watch this video because I want to tell you who's going to win something this week. And it's not going to be $25. It's going to be $50. Somebody who has been very active. I'm going to tell you who in a little while. All right. But today I wanted to discuss with you guys. If you are a driver or any kind of business that you're doing, or even if you're an employee, right? This is the first class that I promise you guys I'm going to show you. So this is the beginning of it. Um, I'm specifically going to be talking about a driver who's driving for somebody else. If you are an owner operator, it means that you are the owner of your own vehicle. Uh, that's not what we're going to talk about today even though it can still benefit you because if you are an owner operator you already kind of know part of what we got to talk about okay but today i want to specifically talk about somebody who's driving a vehicle that belongs to somebody else so somebody had money he bought a vehicle and he chose you to drive or somebody has a taxi base or delivery business or a restaurant or something but he has a vehicle and he chose to hire you to drive his vehicle these are the people that i'm going to talk to today okay we're going to see the beginning of a process of you making more money now th this is what i'm going to tell you the difference between you and the owner of your vehicle is the fact that he was able to buy the vehicle. That's it. It's not because he's wiser than you or more intelligent than you or he's luckier than you or that you are cursed. You are not cursed. The only difference between you, the driver, and the person who owns your vehicle, the one who pays you part of the money that you bring it to him, the difference between you and him is that he was either wise enough or somehow he was able to buy the vehicle. That's the only difference between you and him. So if you want to be like him, it doesn't always make sense that somebody took $500,000 or 100000 no, no, let's say $1,000 or uh, $500 and you bought a taxi and you give it to a driver and that's all you got to do do the paperwork to the vehicle and somebody like us you're driving all day long 12 hours a day 10 hours a day 14 hours a day like somebody told me and all the money that you're making you're giving most of it to somebody who 
all he did was to buy that vehicle it's not fair but that's what it is millions and millions of people among us are driving a vehicle and you're giving most of the money that you're making throughout the day you're giving it to somebody and all he did was buy one vehicle I feel it's not fair and you probably feel it's not fair but that's what it is that reality so the beginning of you making more money or doing what he did is to find a way for you to become the owner of your own vehicle that's what I'm going to teach you in this class that's it it's not complicated because I did it I want to show you how you do it you want to make more money you will never ever 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 get rich if you're driving for somebody else forget driving if you're working if you're working in a restaurant or you're doing delivery or any kind of work that you're doing you will never get rich if you're working for somebody else I don't care how much money you're making I don't care how many hours you are working I don't care what you're taking home if you're working for somebody else doing one job you're never gonna get rich even if you're doing two jobs because you want to take care of your kids and pay your bills and save some money you are not gonna be rich if you're working for somebody else so if you want to make it the way to do it is by becoming an owner how do you become an owner you got to decide the vehicle that you're driving right now how much would it cost and how long would it take me if I start uh, saving my money let's say I this this vehicle that I'm driving it belongs to somebody and I got to make up my mind today I decide today that I want to become an owner of this vehicle or a vehicle that's similar to this vehicle I'm gonna set a timeline by this time next year now we're in August I say by August 7th next year I have to own this vehicle or I have to own a vehicle similar to this one so now the difficulty is gonna be how do I get to having a vehicle like this for myself a year from now how much money do I have to save what are the changes do I have to make do I have to get a second job do I have to learn how to save money there is a way that you can do it and that's what you're gonna have to start thinking about most of what we're going to talk about is how much money do you spend do you have to spend all the money that you're spending a lot of us we're spending money on things that you don't necessarily need in your life you have the responsibility of paying your rent of feeding yourself sometimes you're the one who putting gas in your vehicle but there are a lot of things around us that we're spending money on that we don't necessarily need in our lives so the discipline that we're going to learn in this class is going to be do I really have to spend all the money that I'm spending on the things that I'm spending the money on do I go to movies do I go to bars do I go to restaurants what kind of clothing that I'm buying for myself do I take my kids on vacation the kind of rent the house the rent that you're paying your house do I need it uh, all those things where you're wasting your money we're gonna learn to save that money because the goal that we just gave to ourselves is that a year from now I have to be able to afford a vehicle like this so either I'm gonna be saving or I go right now make a deal with the owner of this vehicle that's something that you can do a lot of drivers do that you right now today you go tell the vehicle owner the vehicle owner the owner for the vehicle that I'm driving you go ask him how much money do I have to give you so that a year from now I have paid off this vehicle a lot of drivers they become owners by doing just that and so the owner of the vehicle is gonna tell you okay you have to apart from this amount that you're giving me I want you to also add some more to it so that this is how much you're gonna be giving me and a year from now this vehicle is yours if that's not possible then you go to a place where they sell vehicles you ask them how much is the vehicle and then you know how much you have to save so that a year from now you can go into your savings and you can afford a vehicle there are many countries where uh, some of our troopers are um, getting connected like in Africa and in, in uh, some parts of Asia where you cannot get credit for us here in America 
you don't need to spend money to buy a vehicle. I can go to a dealer right now. A dealer is the people who are selling vehicles over here. I can go to a dealer and walk out with a vehicle without spending a single dime on credit. As long as they know that I'm going to be using the vehicle for commerce, for uh, as a business, they will give me the vehicle and I'm going to be making a little bit of payments every week or every month. But in some countries around the world, like where I'm from in Africa or in Asia, you don't have the opportunity to get credit. Even though sometimes you can go to the bank and explain to them, I want to buy a house or in this case, I want to buy a vehicle that I'm going to be using as a business vehicle. Sometimes they can give you credit, but many times in our countries they're not going to give you the credit so what you have to do is deal directly with the owner of your vehicle you tell him I'm gonna pay you but can you please tell me how much I have to give you so that a year from now this vehicle is mine and I told you the second choice is if he doesn't want to do that you go to where you can buy a vehicle go online go see the places where they buy used vehicle we're not talking about a brand new vehicle we're talking about a vehicle that you can afford to launch your business once you're making money then you can buy a second one you can buy a, a brand new vehicle what i did when i started i had fifteen hundred dollars just one thousand five hundred dollars and that's all i had i had no experience i have never driven taxi but that's all i had one thousand five hundred dollars and i decided i'm going to take that one thousand five hundred dollars to go and buy a used vehicle i bought me a used vehicle and i started driving a taxi but a year later, I had saved enough money to be able to go buy a better vehicle, not brand new, but a better vehicle. And then I had a second vehicle. So now I have two used vehicle, uh, two used vehicles. Then I had four of them. And then I was able to start getting newer vehicles. But you have to start with something that you can afford. If you're gonna go start with something that's brand new, it costs too much money and it's gonna be credit, gonna owe, owe, gonna owe too much money, you don't wanna do that. You wanna start with something that you can afford. You have to be able to become the owner of that vehicle. There are no two ways, there's no exception. If you wanna make it, you have to be able to have your own vehicle.